Scorpios, welcome to my channel and welcome all my returning subscribers. We're going to be looking at just in general what's around you. I've been really liking the Celtic cross spread that we've been doing here on the channel. So I just want to go ahead and do that spread today. We're going to do nine cards instead of the 10, like always. And any information that you may be looking for will be listed in the description. So check there if you are interested in getting a personal reading or checking out my pick a card channel. I have a really dope channel that you guys can get like more so personalized readings. Basically, that's how it is <laughs> uh, on that channel. So check that out below, but let's get into it. So your present situation, Scorpios, we have the four of swords. The challenge, we have the queen of swords. Your recent past, we have the page of swords, a lot of sword energy. Near future, we have the devil. Conscious mind. Okay, we're going to take both of these. We have the will of fortune and the two of swords. Unconscious mind, we have the queen of cups. External influences, we have the ten of cups. Hopes and fears, we have the death card. And the outcome, we have the Sun card. Okay. Interesting. Let, let's get into it. So the Four of Swords representing your present situation, there's a lot of ideas that are running through your head. And there's a lot of thoughts that you're thinking. You could be in your head more than you are in your physical reality. So be careful of getting into this energy of disassociating. I almost said that word kind of weird. That's why I said it like that. But be careful of disassociating from your immediate surroundings by being so in your head about plans that you may have, things that you want to do, and brainstorming to where you're not putting it on paper or you're not doing it in a way where it's productive okay it's one thing to brainstorm and be like okay i'm gonna execute this plan like x y and z versus having a whole bunch of ideas in your head and then just keeping it there and doing nothing with it and then beating yourself up for it uh you're also going to be taking some sort of break here with this four swords energy this is you taking a break from communicating with someone here uh and you taking this break now you may have been on this break or you're taking this break during this time frame but in you taking this break it's going to give you a lot of peace of mind and understanding about yourself and there is i'm also picking up a decision that you may have to make and sit on for a little bit before you make it now let's go ahead and get into the challenge with the queen of swords the challenge may be you being in your head because <laughs> i'm seeing so many sword cards here you guys could be more in your head than in your reality so this is a reminder to find ways to be grounded and find ways to be more so strategic than worrisome Okay, because we only have to work and, and also knowing the difference between what you can control and what you can't control because you it, there's no point in worrying about what you can't control outside of self. But yes, also the challenge could be communication with someone. The communication could be pretty bad where you guys are just not speaking or someone's not being all the way honest or forthright with what they have going on giving you a sense of clarity, it, what you may be wanting, they may not be giving that to you. Now, going into your recent past with the Page of Swords, there may have been certain things that you saw on the internet and it made you kind of side eye someone. There also may have been very choppy communication between you and an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or just someone who you may have been interested in. And you may have had a lot of questions in terms of like, okay, is this person interested in, in me? Is this person talking to other people? Just a lot of questions around whether or not they're genuinely interested in you or wanting to build a relationship with you. 
Uh, you may have also had a lot of ideas that were swirling in your head and you may have found yourself in your head more than usual in, in your recent past. Now, in the near future with the devil card, you're addressing any limitations that you may be feeling like you're bound to. This could be addictions. This could be habits that you want to break. This could be relationships that you form that you just can't seem to shake. This could be a job that makes you feel limited in the sense of how much money you can make or your potential. You are going to be addressing all these things that exist within your shadow side or things that you may feel attached to that you don't longer want to be attached to. This could even be being attached to an ex where you almost feel like you can't date because they're lingering over your energy. Now, what I see for your conscious mind, I do have the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Swords here. So uh, conscious mind, you're wanting change, but you could be in a space to where you're not really sure where to start or what idea to start on or how to execute the idea. And if it's not necessarily that, it could be the fact that you don't have certain pieces of information quite yet. And that's why you could feel a little conflicted. For others of you, it's like you're experiencing change that you're not able to process all the way. Like there's no answers to, there's no resolution to these changes. It just is what it is. Sometimes when the Two of Swords comes up. Now the unconscious mind with the Queen of Cups, you could be mainly thinking about yourself in the sense of how you feel. There could be a lot of feelings that are like festering within your subconscious and controlling your day-to-day -day actions or your everyday um, focus. There could also be a lot of desires that you have that are existing within your subconscious. Hmm. Now, external influences with the Ten of Cups. Family could be an influence during this time frame. Your sense of happiness. You could be feeling like you're, you're put in a position to where you have to choose your happiness. And that's what you're going to be choosing. Um, what else? Yeah, mainly family, family members. People that could be close to you could be giving you advice and could be influencing you in a sense. Or someone else's family could also be an influence in regards to the connection between you two. Now, what I see for your hopes and fears is getting into the fears first, the worst. Um, with the death card, your fears could be that with changes that you're experiencing, that maybe these changes aren't going to be for the better. Or your fears could be that maybe things won't change ever. Uh, for the better. You could be fearful of what you're capable of in terms of your success and your ability to achieve things and what sacrifices may come with doing that. Now, your hopes, you could be hoping that in you making certain changes within your habits or within your day-to-day -day, that this is going to make sense or that there's going to be the sun, and look how look how beautiful this is. We have the death card and we have the sun card that's rising in the back. And then, or we got the sun energy rising in the back and then we got the sun card. So that isn't a message within itself. So yeah, when it comes to your hopes, it really feels like you guys are, are hoping for things to evolve for the better. Now, outcome for this time frame, which is beautiful, we have the sun card. This represents happiness. This represents the sun shining on you. This represents you being in this pure, this pure, pure sense of joy. And you could be unlocking a sense of what truly makes you happy. Like you could be thinking, oh, okay, when I have this amount of money, I'm going to be happy. Or when I get to this position, I'm going to be happy. And like I always say, 
there's moments of joy that could be captured right now. And I think that's what's going to happen for you guys. You could get some really good news in the future about you expecting a child. You could get some really good news that makes you really happy and complete in a sense. So this is awesome. I hope that this reading was helpful. You took something from it. If you did, definitely feel free to thumbs up the video and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.